Hi, I'm Randy Johnson, president of U.S. Lamp in Green Bay, Wisconsin. We're a high-efficiency lighting distributor. Today we're going to talk about some LED retrofit tube replacements and their viability. Um, this is a very typical style of LED bulb that you would pick up at a variety of locations. Uh, it's got a variety of small LEDs. Typically they're pretty directional. They don't distribute light often in a very even distribution. They tend to be more spotty. They also tend to be about the same efficiency as fluorescent. Often we see 60% energy savings and about 60% less light, so not really an increase in efficiency. This version, and I'm going to flip this fluorescent fixture on, this is a standard fluorescent fixture. The previous bulb I showed you, you remove the lamps, remove the ballast, and hardwire the electrical power to the lamp holders. The lamp holder manufacturers do not recommend that, nor do they warranty it. This particular LED bulb actually uses the existing ballast as the driver. So I'm going to show you here, we've got a standard 32 watt high lumen two lamp fixture with an instant start ballast. I'm going to take one of the fluorescent lamps out, put in one of these LED replacement tubes, and it uses the existing ballast as its driver. I'm going to remove the other fluorescent lamp, put this LED replacement tube in, and it functions the same. So there's no rewiring, no disabling the ballast, but it has to be on an instant start ballast, not a program rapid start. We measured foot candle levels above the fixture and to the side of the fixture with the fluorescent and LED and actually got slightly higher foot candles with the LED product, which we were quite surprised with. So the performance was pretty good. Uniformity was good. So the question is, what is the financial impact of changing? So we drew this out for you. If we take a two lamp fluorescent fixture at 53 watts and at $6 a bulb, we've got $12 invested for a relamp. If we go to a two lamp LED fixture, this retrofit with the ballast and LED bulbs was about 41 watts, so we're saving about 12 watts. That difference in savings over 50,000 hours was about $78 in energy savings. So if we are spending on the LED bulbs $65 each, we've got $130 first cost. The difference between the two systems means you're still paying $118 incremental for the LED solution. In Wisconsin, our rebate program would give $20 for these two bulbs, so that gets you down to about $98. With $78 of savings, you're still spending $20 per fixture out of pocket for the same life and light output as you would with the fluorescent. So it's not only not saving you energy, it's costing you $20 more than using a fluorescent solution. So all things being said, we're seeing LED product evolving quite rapidly. These products will probably continue to get better in light output and hopefully come down in price. And at some point in time, that sweet spot will occur where it will make economic sense to do that. But as of right now, we're seeing much better results at a much lower cost with high-performance fluorescent solutions. So we would encourage any customer to walk slowly before you run, test some of this product, and keep evaluating it because it does continue to evolve. So until next time, I'm Randy Johnson. We'd like to thank you for watching this video.